We are light, we are light, we are light. Cam, my friend, said to me, Josh, we've got two tickets to dancing with the stars tonight. And I was like, Dale, do you want to go? And we just come back from footy. I don't have a suit, I didn't find a suit. Side down. Here's where we adjust for length kind of the hole. What the f I'm gonna play as I'm halfway through, I'm gonna grab Again now. Again, I'm gonna place the tie in my shoulder. I'm going though, no tie. The next step is to take the tie. Surely that's good enough. Is that too long? How long do they... So, I think I know two people tonight in real life. Sam, Dill. Yeah, come. That black guy's still there. This is Taylor, for those that don't know. My beautiful wife. Let's go over. Right, you thank you. That's him. Cameron. Here he is. Oh, <laughs> spiel, Margot, give us a spiel. A spiel, what would you like me to say? Name. Name, my age, name's Margot joking. Pettit. No, no. <laughs> yep, so, Go Right Foundation, I'm the events coordinator, and this has been um, a, a dream we had uh, at the end of last year. We started to talk about it, yep. and tonight it's all happened. So, this and is all you. This, this is, is all well, you. the foundation. Okay, yeah. a bit of you, a fair bit of you. Yeah, <laughs> Red? Can I do red? Oh, yep, red on the table. Oh, red on the table? Yeah. She's giving me a bottle early. It's gonna be a big night. Look who it is. So welcome to my uh, comprehensive review of um, Dancing with the Stars Ballarat. I know man's my expert, but um, I'll give my best shot and what I thought about some of the dancers. But uh, hosts for the night did pretty damn well. So there was Jules off the radio, she did really well, and there was Bryce, who was also pretty humorous. Um, like it was the, you know how sometimes people just try too hard? He was pretty on the money though, like he was Couple of good gags, not too much. He was pretty on the spot. On the dot, I should say. So the first act came on, Finding Frem. I can't actually remember her last name, sorry. Put her first name, we'll put it up here. Um, good. A lot of sass, I like sass. A lot of pop, um, and the beat was really good with the music. She was actually my number one. I actually put her first, if I'm completely honest. Act two, Samantha Maktosh. Um, with all these dances too, I suppose that every dance has their vibe and you sort of just glue to whichever one you sort of feel. But um, this one, more of a light flow and they turned and they turned and they turned and they turned. But um, what I'm saying, moving on. Next on the agenda, George Fong. I actually, I, I, I haven't heard anything about this guy. I just know that he started the internet, apparently, here in Ballarat. That's all they can sort of keep saying. Fierce, um, sexual. Oh, cool. Pretty good though, George. Pretty damn good. The bird is in here. Now, for your second motor, motorbike rider, you do it with Panache and you have performed with Panache this evening. Thank you, sir. Next up, we had Amy McDonald, um, and the guy she was actually dancing with, I didn't know it was a dancer, don't know if you remember this, um, Rob back at Snap, he used to be the dude that used to be on those Swiss ball, do it, I remember back in the day, right? So, very old school uh, and very poppy. Like the music was sort of like that old, uh, what's the word? Woo! 
like the like those real old the old those movies. I don't know how to explain. It. Uh, I thought they were pretty good though. I didn't mind their sort of style. Um, really sort of up my alley, that sort of stuff. Not up my alley, but like I vibe to it. There you go. Next on the agenda, Malcolm Roberts, who owns Camera Hotel, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, slow. He did win actually. Uh, the thing I liked about it wasn't so much the slow stuff, but I think it was the storyline to it. The only one that really had sort of a story rather than a dance. So that's why I, I sort of liked that one. That's what I have my notes in. Anyway, I wrote all these down, by the way. Like I, I put them on my notes, just wrote small words. Moved well, slow, storyline, but elegant. Very elegant. Who's your favourite? I've already said The red favorite. wine. No. Who's your favourite dance so far? I can already tell you. Um, I reckon it was number... What's that? One. One? No. Pointing one. Pen, no. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Alright, next up, Sean Maloney, better known as Spider. 100% the crowd favourite. Um, people loved him, absolutely nothing. Right? <laughs> I know I wasn't up there, but a bit out of time, Spider, just a little bit. Not like it was still good. <laughs> Had the most fun out of anyone, I think. Like he was very, very just up with the crowd. It was fantastic. Like I said, the, the crowd loved him. <laughs> the funny thing, he reminded me of one of the Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Royal Indian titles. Here we you go. He reminds me of the guy off the Wiggles. <laughs> Next up we have Rosemary. Sass. Naughty. I would say. Pretty um pretty good though, Rosemary. Did did very well. Uh had some fun with it. I can't remember what the dance was called, but um, let's be honest, I can't remember any of these, what these dances were called. But still good. Good growth, man. I like it. Yes, <laughs> Next up, Robin Upton. A um, little bit slow. Childhood memories back with that song. He even started singing to that pitch there a little bit. Crowd loved her. Um, quite emotional. Like I didn't cry, but just a little bit emotional, you know. I think it's a song. Really then move on to the real estate agent, Mark Nunn. He, a lot of lifts. Costumes were good. Um, not a bad dance. The judge said, it's obviously fitting him being a real estate agent that he moved like a house. No, she thought he moved like a house, but he didn't move like a house. Um, yeah, well done there. And then moved to my man, Dilla Sock. Graphic photos of those glasses. <laughs> Mark Lad. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Excited? Freaking out. Hey? Freaking out. You're nervous. You're nervous. You're nervous. Yeah. He's ready to go. Good luck with so that was a bit of a storyline for a start, and then they got right into it. Footwork, moves like Jagger, had a lot of fun, and... I think this moved a lot, that's basically it. That's pretty good though. I'll probably have them as third. Mind you, I was watching them a tad more because I know Dill, so... I don't know, there might be a little bit of favouritism there. Who are we voting for? I'm not. I'm voting for Liana. Who are you voting for? I've got to vote for Malcolm Roberts. Yeah, you know why? Well, he's an ex. <laughs> That's the only reason I've got to vote for him. <laughs> then having a short break and then they came back out. Um, Bryce, with that magnificent hat, Bryce. <laughs> uh, they then came back out and did like a group dance. So that was pretty good. 
Uh, and then they sort of just announced towards the end what they, like the winner of how they voted. Uh, and the night sort of went on like that. I didn't stay around, to be honest, for too long. Um, but it was magnificent, magnificent sort of night. I think it was really, really good. I think they ended up raising 115,000, maybe 17,000. Um, the videos were really good. I liked the way I think it was Peppers did them. Did the videos that like they sort of overlay about what they've been doing. But everyone did really well. Um, like I said, it was hard for me to critique dances when I don't know what the dance is all about. Like, that's just how the dance is meant to be, so they're not going to be moving too fast, but I think everyone did really, really well. Apart from that, don't forget, like, subscribe, be a better you. Thanks for watching.